All right, Algebra 1, this is Lesson 5. This is on sets, absolute value, and then also addition of signed numbers. So, um, let's talk about sets. Um, now, anytime we are talking about a set, basically um, it's a set of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it'll be included in this little symbol right here. It's just showing that it's a set. Now, most of the time when you see this, you're going to see something like this. So if I told you, um, let's talk about natural numbers. And remember, natural numbers are just when you start um, counting from one. So a set of natural numbers would look like this. And then when I put dot, 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 but then I end the set, it basically means it keeps going on forever. But this is included in natural numbers, meaning from one to four, and then the rest of the numbers are included in natural numbers. So this is a set of natural numbers. Now if I said, let's do a set of whole numbers. Hopefully you remember the difference between natural numbers and whole numbers is it just includes zero. Um, so one, two, and I can even stop at three and put dot, dot, dot. And that's basically showing all whole numbers are from zero forever because of this dot, dot, dot. So this is just showing that it's included these are whole numbers, and these are the numbers that are included in the whole numbers. So they're just kind of teaching you how to um, make a set. Um, for example, integers. All right, let's do a set of integers. Okay, um, for example, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then if I put dot, dot, dot on this way and dot, dot, dot on this way, it basically saw it saying that all negative numbers, whole negative numbers, and all po um, whole um, positive numbers, and see these dots, it both goes in both directions. These are integers. So if they are asking you what numbers are integers, this is a good way to say it because it's showing that it keeps going and it keeps going. And that's what integers are. Okay, it's just really kind of simple, but just teaching you what a set looks like. All right. Now let's talk about absolute value. Um, the best way to explain absolute value, I'm going to do a number line. All right, zero, let's do, oh, I'm sorry, to three. And then I've got negative one, negative two, and negative three. Okay, the best way to do absolute value is this. Um, if I were to ask you, most of the time when you're seeing absolute value, you're seeing it with two um, long lines like that. And basically that means is, Find the absolute value of 2. And um, basically you're asking yourself, how far is this number from 0? So 0 is our basis for absolute value. So how far away is it? 1, 2. So the answer is 2. Now, what if this was a negative 2? Okay, what's the absolute value of negative 2? Well, how far is negative 2 from 0? 1, 2. So the answer to negative 2, it's just asking how far it is. It's two spaces. So whether it's a negative number inside the absolute value or a positive number, you're going to get a positive number as your answer because what the absolute value is is asking you the distance from 0, how many jumps or how many ticks from 0. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's just work a few of these absolute values. Um, for example, um, negative 5. What's the absolute value of negative 5? Well, on a number line from 0 to negative 5, it is 5 um, ticks or 5 jumps. So the answer would be just 5. Okay, so every negative number that's inside an absolute value will always end up positive. All right, because you're asking how far it is from 0, not asking anything else. All right, what if this was just 5? How far is 5 from 0? Still going to answer going to be 5. All right, what about this? Let's do a few harder ones. What about 3 fourths? Just pretend like it's a normal number. How far is 3 fourths from 0? It's 3 fourths of the way from 0. So you're still getting the answer, same answer. What if it was a negative 3 fourths? Again, from 0, it would be um, the same thing. It's going to be a positive answer because they're asking you how far it is from 0. So the answer would be 3 fourths away from 0. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Even um, let's do a 7.12. Let's do a 
um, decimal number. How far is this from zero? 7.12. What if it was a negative number? It still doesn't matter. It's still 7 and 0.12 from zero, so your answer would still be that. So it's pretty simple, um, but that's what absolute value means. Um, what if you did zero? Just in case you get a, a problem like that and you're like, oh no, she didn't teach on that. Um, the absolute value of zero is how far is zero from zero? Zero. <laughs> we didn't move to the left or the right. Zero is zero. So that's pretty simple. Now, let's talk about, um, let's, well actually, let's go ahead and do one, something like this because this may be a problem that you come into. What if you were to look at that? All right, let's answer the problem. 11 minus 2 is 9. And then what's the absolute value of 9? 9. <laughs> All right, what if you saw this? Now, this one gets a little bit tougher. Um, 20 minus 2, and then it's got a negative out here. Anytime you see this, this is kind of like parentheses um, in, in the PEMDAS, you want to do it first. So 20 minus 2 is what? 18. So 18, and then my negative's right here. Okay, and so... What is the absolute value, absolute value of 18? 18 is. But now I've got this negative out there that I still haven't used. So the answer is going to be negative 18. Hopefully you understand that because I'm just finding if it was a negative in here, then it would just be um, 18 because we're asking how far is negative 18 from zero. And it would just be 18 ticks or 18 spots. But the negative is on the outside. So we're answering this first, which is 18. Now we're pulling this in, and that's the answer, negative 18. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, all right, now let's talk about addition of signed numbers. Now, what I mean by that is if you were to take something like this, 3 plus a negative 2. Hopefully you remember the rules when you're adding signed numbers, if you have opposite signs, you're going to subtract. If you don't remember this, write this down. You're going to subtract the numbers and then take the sign of the biggest number. Okay, write that down if you don't know that. Hopefully this is just review. So 3 plus a negative 2, I would subtract 1 and then I would take the sign of the biggest number and the biggest number is 3 and it's a positive. So I'm going to leave it as a positive one. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's do another one. What if I had 3 plus a negative 5? Again, we have opposite signs, different signs, so we are going to subtract. 3 from 5 is 2, and then I'm going to take the sign of the biggest number. 5 is my biggest number, and I'm going to put a negative. Hopefully you remember that, okay? Now, if you want to do it on um, the, the smaller amounts, like 3 plus negative 5, but when they get up to like 234 plus a negative 439, you're not going to be able to do it on a number line. Um, but if you were to do it on a number line with small numbers, that's okay if you feel, feel more comfortable doing that. So, for example, um, that one we just did, 3 plus a negative 5, would be like this. I start at 0 and I go 1, 2, 3. Stop here. And then when I say plus a negative 5, when you go negative, you're going to the left. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I get a negative 2, which was the answer we got anyway when we were doing it mathematically. Okay? Hopefully um, that's just a review. Let's do a few more. Um, let's do this one. This gets a little bit more complicated. Negative 4 plus 2, plus a negative 1, plus a 5. Now, if I were you, I would just go from left to right on this, okay? So let's work this problem first. Negative 4 plus 2 is, hopefully you remember, you're going to subtract and take the sign of the biggest number. So 4, take away 2, I'm going to get 2, take the sign of the biggest number. Now I'm just going to bring everything else down, okay? Try not to make too many steps. Now I'm going to go negative 2 plus negative 1, and hopefully you remember if you don't, same signs, you're going to add. Write this down if you don't remember it, and then you're going to take that sign. So whatever the same sign is, 
So this one's negative 2 plus negative 1, so I'm going to add 2 plus 1 is 3. And then I'm going to take that sign, which is negatives. So, um, okay, and then I'm going to bring everything else down, plus 5. So negative 3 plus 5, now we've got opposites. I've got a negative and a positive, so I'm going to subtract. I'm going to get 2, and then I'm going to take my sign of the biggest number, which is positive. So I'm just going to leave it as 2. Okay, hopefully this is making um, sense to you pretty well. Um, uh, there's one more thing. I think it's on the next lesson. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about that the next lesson. Okay, so that is lesson five.